Hello, my name is Ian Livingstone. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Livingstone Academy Bournemouth. The world is being transformed by technology, the speed of which is accelerating as a result of the current global pandemic. Children need to be able to navigate and flourish in this new world order, and it is our intention to give the right education and skills to do so. I think it's important that children's learning is contextual and relevant to their world, which is interactive and digital. That means equipping them with skills as well as qualifications, know-how as well as knowledge, and an understanding of teamwork as well as individual endeavour. Learning by doing, collaboration and project-based learning contextualises the learning experience and puts theory into practice. Of course, our school will deliver the national curriculum, but we also want children to be world-ready and work-ready. Robots and artificial intelligence are going to do the jobs which involve repetition, so there's no point in teaching children like robots as they won't be able to compete with the real thing. Creativity and computing are vital skills for the 21st century. The Livingstone Academy curriculum will bring the arts and sciences together, hence STEAM rather than STEM. Principles of games-based learning will be applied where appropriate. Children love playing games and being online but few understand how technologies are built. Our aim is to move them from digital consumption to digital creativity. In other words, move them from the passenger seat to the driver's seat of technology. Software engineers, artists and animators are always in demand, and not just in the video games industry. These are transferable skills and key to the digital economy, which should be critical in the post-COVID networked world. The World Economics Forum's advice is that children need meta skills of problem solving, critical thinking and creativity. We need to teach them how to think. If we encourage creativity and diverse thinking in children, give them the right digital making skills, inspire an entrepreneurial mindset, promote computational thinking and encourage them to collaborate, they might become job makers instead of just job seekers. Thank you. Welcome to the virtual parents meeting for the new Livingstone Academy Bournemouth opening in September 2021 to reception and year seven children. We are Steve and Paula Kenning, co-founders and managing directors of the Aspirations Academies Trust. Aspirations currently runs 15 schools across the south of England in four regions. Livingstone Academy Bournemouth will be our 16th school and it will be the fifth that we have opened as a new school. It will join the existing South Coast region, which comprises three schools, Magna Academy Pool, Ocean Academy Pool and Jewel Academy Bournemouth. Our vision for the school is to help our students to develop the skills needed for success in an ever-changing world. Skills such as creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, problem solving. When a child leaves Livingston Academy Bournemouth, we expect them to be ready to lead a happy and a successful life in an ever-changing world. We will work with many companies, particularly digital companies, to help provide the skills that our students need. Not all our students will end up working in the digital industry, in digital technologies. Many will become doctors, architects, teachers, and in jobs yet to be created. But all students will be computational thinkers, ready to use the knowledge and skills as digital creators successfully in a complex world. Our aim is that young people will leave Livingstone Academy Bournemouth with the highest level of qualifications possible. This will be a byproduct of our focus on delivering an education that develops knowledge alongside know-how, ensuring that students leave school both world ready and work ready so that they can thrive in their chosen career and throughout their lives. In reception, we will focus on learning through play, developing strong literacy and numeracy skills throughout primary school, alongside essential skills such as creativity and problem solving. At secondary school, we will develop a broad and balanced curriculum, focusing on a range of GCSE qualifications and A-levels, alongside significant opportunities to not only develop world-ready and work-ready skills, but also to work alongside real employers from a range of creative digital sectors, ensuring that all young people graduating from Livingstone Academy have the skills and capabilities necessary to, tr to thrive in the workplace. Livingstone Academy Bournemouth is located in the heart of Bournemouth, 
very close to the railway station and to a number of employers in the creative digital sectors. From year one onwards or through the school, the curriculum will look like this diagram. There will be three elements with the intention, the implementation and the impact. The intention is how we, we will deliver learning and more will be said about this later, but we'll have single discipline learning subjects what we call applied transdiscipline learning, where we're combining subjects together to look at certain problems and issues. We'll have performance, which is really about celebrating the performance that comes from PE, drama, music and dance, as creativity is essential. And in all these areas, we expect students to deliver a final performance. We'll have assessment, presentation and personal education. And we'll have the occasional innovation and development learning weeks. Now, the way this works in every year group is that we develop knowledge, we take knowledge, and we learn the skills to apply the knowledge. And through doing this, we develop future skills. By the time I leave school, at the end of either year 11 or year 13, we want all our young people to be happy young people with high levels of self-worth, be very much engaged in their learning and prepared for success in the 21st century. We also want them to get the very best qualifications, either in SATs at the end of year 6, GCC end of year 11, or A-levels at the end of year 13. Most importantly, though, we want them to develop the future skills which many of our industries of the future require. Livingstone Academy Bournemouth's approach to learning will comprise a number of different styles, from single subject learning in the traditional sense to an applied transdiscipline approach where young people solve problems that are based in the real world and depend upon developing and implementing a range of skills critical for success in the workplace. Innovation weeks and performance time will also be critical aspects of the Academy's approach to learning where young people are encouraged to really develop their creativity and critical thinking skills in particular. We've had a number of questions submitted um, through our website and we'd like to address some of those now. We've grouped them into broad areas and we hope that this will um, provide a sufficient response to some of the queries that you've been submitting. So the first question, is there a catchment area? If you live outside Bournemouth or in Poole, can you still apply? How will places be allocated? Unlike other parts of uh, Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole, there is no catchment area. Um, applications will be made and places will be allocated through the admissions code, which is available for anybody to see, through distance. So the closer you live to the school, the more chance you have to get into the school. However, uh, we expect to serve all the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul area, so we hope people from all areas will apply. What sports facilities will be available? Our state-of-the-art building will comprise fantastic sports facilities, both in indoor sports facilities and outdoor sports facilities. In addition to this, there will be performance spaces, uh, and studios for young people to enjoy the exercise and sport that the curriculum will provide. Alongside this, we plan to work in close collaboration with community sports groups using community sports facilities, and we also have the added advantage of the fantastic sports facilities that Magna Academy Pool and Aspirations Academy has on hand in very close proximity to Livingstone Academy Bournemouth. The longer school day is to ensure homework is completed and so on. Will that be within a normal classroom environment or homework clubs? Will these homework sessions be supervised by teachers? This longer school day is something we already run at our Space Studio West London and it works really well where teachers and students at the end of the day work on the homework. The teachers are available there to help students and the aim is that students go home with very little other work to do. We don't expect there to be no homework for students, but we expect the homework to be in the form of preparing online um, for the next lessons. So in other words, they're preparing for what they need to know to find out what they need to understand. This will be in a fairly normal classroom environment, uh, the, the after school sessions, um, not like a homework club, but like a normal lesson, but more like a prep session, preparing uh, for, for the next day, but also working with their teachers to finish off the homework. How will input from corporate companies, big name companies, feed into the curriculum? In planning to open Livingstone Academy Bournemouth from September 2021, we're already working with a, a wide range of very exciting big name companies in a range of cre both creative digital sectors 
and other um, industries such as architecture, medicine and so on. Um, input from companies uh, will be a really critical element of the curriculum. Young people will be working alongside real employers from the real world on problems that are actually flexing the brains of companies right now. How will creativity and the arts be sewn into the curriculum? Creativity is vital to the success of the school and it's what we fully believe in because creativity is thinking differently, developing ideas, solving problems and issues and will encourage this in all aspects of the curriculum, in every single subject. The arts are vital as well. We've already mentioned about performance, but we want students to perform when working together in music, in dance, in drama, in sport, and to show their talents and develop their self-confidence. How is the academy different to any other school in Bournemouth? What are the benefits of an all-through school? One of the unique features of Livingstone Academy Bournemouth is just that it's an all-through school. So your child could begin their education at Livingstone aged four and not have to tra transition to another school or another setting until they leave Livingstone aged 18. In our experience, all through education is critically important to ensuring the highest levels of self-worth in all young people, ensuring that the, the stress of transitioning through different phases of their education is as minimized as possible. In terms of how the academy is different in other ways, our entire approach to education is unique. As we said, we will focus on developing not only knowledge, but also know-how and making sure through developing a range of really important skills in young people that they are not only ready for the, the workplace, but ready for the world that lies ahead of them. How does this academy address the growing skills shortage and why won't it just be churning out video experts and gamers? The focus of the academy will be on developing computational skills, computational thinking. Uh, we've already said that this is about problem solving and critical thinking and creativity. And these are the kind of skills that people will need in the world. If you become a doctor in now and in the future, you'll be using computers to do some of your operations. If you become a teacher, increasingly we're developing online learning. And there are many, many jobs we've yet uh, to discover which are going to be part of the, of the future world. This is about our young people not just becoming digital digital users but becoming digital creators in the future. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any further questions, please feel free to submit them at the email address that you can see on your screen.